Okay, stop beeping. Sorry about that. I have my Google Chrome open. One sec. I'll close it. Alright. So, to uh, pause this, I already got it closed. But anyway, to, uh, to make this close, we're going to go to this path track and we're going to go to uh, outputs, add, on pass, um, intro door, close. And then we're going to apply because we don't need to put it one because uh, the intro is not going to run more than once. So then we've got it. So as soon as it passes this, or as soon as it gets to here, this door will close itself. So um, now I'm going to drag it into the survivor's room. And then after that, I'm going to drag it upwards to the ceiling. That way it's not in the way. There. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here, go to next top target, and just delete the uh, input. So that way it's blank and it's just there randomly. And it won't go to any other one. So now, okay, so now we want, actually, before we do anything, uh, we want to uh, force the survivor positions. So, what I would do is uh, go to a, a, the logic auto. Actually, one sec before you do anything. All right. So you do not need to go to your uh, logic auto. I was just double checking there. Okay. So I'm gonna go to your NED tool and go to objects and type in logic underscore relay. Now we'll place that down. And you want to give it a name, so I'm going to name it uh, intro underscore relay. I always name mine like with the first word being of what it's uh, tied to, like what it pretty much will do. Uh, so now you want to go to your uh, um, director and go to outputs, but add on gameplay start. We want to go to logic uh, intro, intro relay, and we want to trigger it. And uh, fire once only, then apply. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, so go back to your relay. Now uh, put uh, go to your outputs. Go to add on trigger director. Uh, I'm going to force the survivor positions. So this will lock them in their positions. They will not be able to uh, get out. And then I'm going to fire this once only. Then add on trigger director. I, I don't know if you would do want to do this. I mean, you can if you want to. It doesn't really do much. Uh, so I've always put start intro. I always think I think it's what starts the music and all that. So we want to fire that once only too. And then, uh, also, it's like uh, we also want to start the forward on the on the path track. So we still want to be at our uh, intro relay. Now we want to go to uh, intro track train and uh, put start forward. Fire right, once only. Add on trigger. Intro camera enable. Five months only. Then we do want to set some time periods. Um, let's see. So we want the thing to start its forward. Oh wait, no, we want to go back to that. So we want this to start its forward at. Uh, I'm gonna make it around 1.5 seconds. That way it doesn't start like direct on spawn. And then I'm gonna make it. So now we want to go here. Uh, then um, <clears throat> we're gonna go to our very last uh, path track. Now we're gonna go to outputs, add. Oh wait, also we want to delete this because if you copy, it kind of does that sometimes. Uh, so now we want to go to our 
the last path track. We want to go to our output tabs. We want to add on pass director finish intro fire once only, and then we want to make it around. And I'm, I'm gonna put one second. Then add again on pass director um, release survivor positions fire once only add on pass intro camera disable fire once only um, add wait one sec I don't think we're gonna need another add but anyway so add so what we want to do is we want to kind of separate these uh, finish intro will be at one disable um, crap one sec so disable we want the camera to disable around one no not point three one point five and then we want the uh, finish intro no not the finish intro the uh, release survivor right positions at two and then um, that is pretty much it on how to set up a uh, an intro. Now I'm gonna go in the game. I'm gonna go see if it's right. Uh, one sec. All right. So the intro is working, and it is right. And I hope that'll light up here in a sec. Glow. There. If you can tell it's extremely dark, but it's only because the generator generator uh, is not on right now. Because the lights will not activate until that is uh, activated itself. And it is a little bit slow, but but okay. So yeah, if you have the start intro and all that, it'll make the music start playing. That down, down, down. Yeah, you get the idea. And it's only slow because I'm recording. So then it's gonna go into the door now. And how did that get off of there? See now it closes. And it goes up. It disables and then we can now move around. And that is pretty much how to make a uh, an intro camera. I'll go start the uh, lights. And there's the lights. So there you have it. The uh, intro starts, um, exits too, and that is pretty much it for this tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I have to go fix those glass pieces now. But anyway, see you guys later.